Welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. Before we begin this episode, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the brave men and women who have served in uh, militaries so that uh, we can have the life that we do now with all the freedoms and, and rights that we have. Thank you. Bless you. Welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. In this episode, well, times are changing as you can see. You know, we've had an exceptionally warm uh, fall. I can't recall it ever being this warm for this long. It's now, well, it's November the 10th and uh, tomorrow is Remembrance Day here in Canada. Uh, that's why we wear the poppies here. Uh, to remember those who have uh, fallen and given all uh, so that we have the life we have. But uh, this episode is not just about them. It's about, well, <laughs> giving thanks for, you know, such a great season. And I want to say thank you for all the support that you've given me uh, over the, the years. Uh, but this season has been exceptional for weather-wise. Uh, as I stated, we're in November the 10th and, well... There's no snow on the ground, my ponds aren't frozen, and my ponds are still, you can see it here, they're 11 degrees. That's, well, virtually unheard of. Uh, as Canadians, we're kind of rejoicing in the warmth that we've had. But times are changing, and we have to make sure that we are ready and prepared uh, for the onslaught, being winter, that will be coming. So let's take a look around at the pond and see what we have to do and what's been done. As you can see, I still have my uh, fog filter and my box filter running. Uh, simply because, well, it's warm enough uh, that I can keep it running. Uh, people ask me, why don't I run that all year long? Well, at the uh, waterfalls area, that would actually freeze and the water would get diverted and then I, well, I lose all the water in my pond, or the vast majority of it. Plus, it can super chill your water, especially here in Canada. Now, in a more milder climate like the UK, you could get away with that. Or in the southern parts of the States. Where we are, it's, well, it's an accident waiting to happen, leaving something like that running. Same with any of these streams here. They have to be closed up. You notice there's a lot of leaves on there. And that's thanks to this willow and that wind. We've been really busy the last uh, few days trying to get all the leaves out of the pond. Now people will say, well, why don't you net this entire pond? I'd like to, but it's, it's the pulling the wire and, uh, well, having it attached, I don't know if I want it there or not. It would make a lot less work for me, but... If you didn't time it just right and the snow fell, it would crash down. Then you'd have one heck of a mess and the fish would be in more danger than they are right now. As it stands, I've got my skimmer still running and that will actually pull a lot of these leaves out. As I stated before, the water is still 11 degrees and they're actively feeding. So, now I've got this bog filter shut down. Uh, I do have a cover for it. I've just taken it off currently, and we'll put one back on. I just wanted to remove more leaves before I recover it. Because of the mild temperature, the box filters here are still running, and they'll uh, continue to run until, well, it gets, generally doesn't get uh, above zero during the day, and then I'll shut it off. As for the pump, that's right there, it'll stay in there for the uh, winter. It'll be fine. I've shut my easy pod down uh, for two main reasons. One, the air line I have to fix, and sorry for the shadow. And two, well, without that air line uh, working, it's too hard to keep clean, so uh, I've had to shut it down, unfortunately. Plus. I'm not feeding the koi as much as they were getting. 
simply because of water temperature and you know they don't need it they have put on a lot of sides this year i'm happy with the amount of sides they put on the growth has been phenomenal the color is great i'm really happy that they're going into winter in a great condition you may notice a couple new fish in here they were from uh, my friend darren's uh, that he had too many fish and didn't want so they ended up here they did go through a short uh, two-week quarantine and a couple salt treatments there's nothing wrong with them I knew exactly where all the fish came from that being Vandermeer's same spot I get all my fish I had a guest drop by being uh, my friend Jim as you know we uh, both got some uh, koi together from uh, our friend Darren I think he's just eyeing up a few of mine. Oh, there's one of them. There's another one. There's yeah, they're, they're coming along, eh? They're hard to spot in there. They're, well, they're dark. dark. Yeah. yeah. Now, if I was on it, I would have already uh, zoomed in, but I'm not, so. Yeah, he's coming along right here. Yeah, I got a few of them in there. They're growing. Very similar to the uh, three that I got from my old pond. Oh, yeah? The triplets, I call them. Yep. And, uh, yeah, they're a decent size now, and they they look fantastic because they got that color on the head and it really stands out and a bit on their their fins the rest of them are the rest of the body's pretty dark but yeah they look really cool so you're still feeding your fish too for this weather um it's been great so it's, it's fantastic that we're still able to feed our fish not as much as we would in the summer of course but uh wow, it's really unheard of yeah the water's still warm enough the fish are still active and they're looking for food so i give them small amounts and when they finish that up, I'll give them another little handful. And well, you could that. treat you could treat mine guys one last time. Are you sure you want me to? I overfeed your fish. Yeah, well, the filters can handle the once. <laughs> <laughs> they're still pretty active, hey? They are, but you can tell that the water's a lot colder. Yeah, just they're, cause they're not down. really going at it. Yeah, and that's how we tell here. You know, I did have the digital thermometer out there, and it said it was 11.1 .1 degrees. Yeah. Which, you know, is barely above 50. Yeah. I think I'll be switching over to uh, some Cheerios in the next couple of days. Yeah, me too. Well, they are a wheat product, so. Yep. And I noticed you got your uh, filter still running. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to keep that going as long as you can? As long as I possibly can until it almost frees up. Yeah. And But you notice I've also got the heaters in the pond. They're ready to... They're not plugged in, but they're ready to go in both the ponds. Yep. Yep. Uh, just in case. Uh, and that we've uh, done a different method this year. Both you and I have done raised uh, air pumps. Yeah. So the line itself. It's just so there's no dips in the line because that's where the condensation settles. Yep. Then it freezes. And then you you're. Know, and you're pooched. And then you're boiling water. Boiling and, water and the whole bit. So I learned that last year. Um, so I figure if the line's going straight down, hopefully, yeah. it'll just push all that condensation down through the airstone. Uh, that's our hope. Because, you know, the main thing is keeping the uh, an airline or air hole going. You know, we can't keep our pumps running. They will freeze up, as in the, the, the stream will freeze, and the water will get diverted, and we'll have dead fish. Yep. Just a nightmare. But, yeah, it's just a matter of keeping an eye on that opening, and... Another thing, too, it's nice when you do get the ice on the pond and then the snow builds up on it. Uh, you know, that's some great insulation. Yeah. Well, you know, you've heard of igloos. Yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, they're made out of snow. And they're actually, I've been in one and, you know, I wouldn't exactly say it's balmy in there, but yep. you're out of the wind yep. and it's warmer. And I haven't tried, to, uh, I haven't tried to make one since I was a kid. Uh, my son was up in Ikala, uh, which is way up in. You can't get any further north, and they had to do some dig outs and igloos, and they stayed in, in them for days in February. Oh, I remember you telling me about that, yeah. Oh. No, thank you. Yeah, warmest day was minus 40. No, thanks. Nope. nope. <laughs> That's not for me. It gets cold enough here for me, thanks. Yeah. But, but I, uh, I'm happy with the water quality and yep. clarity. It's, it's just, you know, trying to keep the leaves out, but with just wind. Both the wind, yeah. yeah. You just can't. You're just constantly battling them. But, uh, no, your fish look great. Well, I appreciate They're moving it. around a lot. appreciate you coming by and, and checking out. Uh, well, I wanted to check out Darren's fish. Um, yeah. The 10 that I threw in with my Shabunkin, they're amazing. 
Well, I, they I, look so good in there. It's nice to have koi in there again, to tell you the truth. Well, I've got uh, one that I, I've definitely figured out is going to be a long fin or butterfly. So yeah. I think you and I might be doing a swap. Yeah, I think so. I've got a few in there that um, I'm sure they're regular fins. But um, they're yeah, we'll beautiful look looking fish. We'll, we'll assess them again in the spring. You know, for the amount of fish that we took out of there, yeah. the fact that virtually none had to be called, I mean, usually yeah. you got a bunch of uggos, yeah. right? You know, I think we took 25 or 30 of them out. Yeah, between you, me, and David, and well, another you, friend. Yeah. Uh, you know, we looked out, we lucked out, he lucked out, yeah. and we got a nice new home for all those fish. That's right, that's right. I'm looking forward to watching them develop, and... I call them, now I refer to them as the new generation. The new generation. Yes. Not going to break out into a song, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, oh, here's something. Been doing some dog training over at uh, one of Esther's students. She's doing private lessons yeah. now. So I've been joining in because I'm doing a show next weekend. Anyway, he's ripping his deck out. And I said, hey, what are you doing with those boards? I was taking them to the dump. I said, no, 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 I'll take them. Uh, uh, Flip yeah. them over so now I can extend my dock. Perfect. I'm so happy about that. It's always looked unfinished to me. So I'll yep. just add that to my list of what projects for the spring. Recycle, reuse. Recycle, reuse. Um, what's the other R? Reduce. Reduce. How about restore? Hey. Well, I like I like the old stuff. You know, I like well, rustic. I mean, if there's nothing wrong with it. Yep. Reuse it. Yep. So yeah, I'm excited about that. A couple of changes for next spring. Uh, lots to dream of over the winter. It'll have somewhere to sit, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess we better get back to uh, doing what we got to do. Yeah, and um, people should remember to like this video and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and share this video. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. You didn't, ask, you didn't even have to ask me this time. No, oh, it wasn't quite done in the video. <laughs> uh, as far as this monstrosity it's been shut down drained and i'm gonna have take a half to take the uh k1 out of it and move that filter on disappointing didn't work but hey you gotta keep trying as i stated before my filter as in my skimmer box is still running and will continue to run uh, until it gets too cold gotta keep cleaning that on a regular basis to take all the leaves out in fact you can see what it, all the leaves i just took out today and I emptied that, uh, well, the other day. <laughs> uh, as far as the, uh, this box filter, it, again, I'll keep that running as long as I, I can. The bog itself, I haven't cut back yet. I probably won't. Uh, I'll just uh, turn it off and it'll uh, it'll die back on its own then I'll just clean it out in the spring uh, for those who don't know my koi ponds are six feet deep uh, koi are fine they're nice and healthy and active once they tell me they don't want food anymore that's when I'll take them off or it gets too cold right now at 11 they're on a lower uh, protein diet, uh, but they're still active and still wanting feed. As you can see here, they're begging. It's my opinion that your fish will tell you when they don't want food anymore. And here, they, they'll all go to the deep end, which is this area here. Mind all the leaves that are blowing in with this windstorm. That's just nasty. <laughs> Anyways, I think I got some work to cut ahead of me getting all this out. But the fish are doing well. They're active. And soon I hope that they go down in this area here, which is the deepest portion. It's six feet deep. And there they'll stay and remain for the period uh, until uh, uh, pretty much mid-April. I know that's a long time to be uh, <laughs> not fed. We just did another uh, good water change the other day. That's really important here because here in Canada, we have to shut down our water line 
uh, being the hose there uh, for the winter I'll have to close that down and then actually physically turn the water line inside off because it'll freeze uh, just going on a little bit to the outside and I'll burst my pipes inside that's another reason I don't use a bottom drain even though that would make my life a lot easier when it comes to all these leaves uh, I just they scare me they uh, crack uh, with our winter because our frost line is where I am three to four feet down yeah I said three to four feet down that being the ground will actually freeze three feet down yeah <laughs> that's cold but koi live as in carp live where I do uh, so I'm not being cruel to these guys there's a massive amount of koi in the river systems and the lake systems where I live and they do just fine even a few uh, rosa blooms still to go you gotta love that but the wind is changing and it's coming now from the north northwest and winter's not too far off all the other ponds have been shut down either emptied and all the fish removed except for the main ones IBC tanks are all emptied and covered otherwise they'd freeze all our furniture has been put away we're pretty much uh, set for winter the only thing I'm going to do is I'll take my remaining pumps that are in the shallower end or in the uh, a skimmer box and I'll drop them into the pond why I leave them in the pond is it keeps the rings nice and wet uh, not great for uh, pumps to be left dry um, the rings tend to crack so they stay in all winter long with the fish well I'd like to thank everyone for watching and if you uh, are passing by some uh, youtubers like Vince or uh, Martin from uh, Koi uh, Water Plants and Ranch. Uh, make sure you thank them for their service. Uh, great guys, great channels, and uh, they obviously were in the military, and uh, I have full respect for them. Uh, as you well know, uh, my son is currently serving in our military and just did a posting in Latvia. To, uh, make sure it's safe for their country well remember thank your vets be one you thank them and uh, thanks everyone for watching we'll see you on the next one remember keep on keeping on and thank you for all that you've done for me